this video, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite tonic herbs, Gynostemma, which is also referred to as Gyrojulian, Miracle Grass, or the Immortality Herb. This herb uh, traditionally has been used to treat the entire body. It is a superior adaptogen. It contains actually the highest concentration of saponins of any herb on the planet, making it superior even to ginseng, which is traditionally seen as the most superior uh, adaptogen herb that you could take, something for promoting longevity, immune function, and overall anti-aging. So this is a herb that really contains a lot of antioxidants and the ability to protect our DNA and our cells from any sort of uh, degeneration or mutation. Now as a adaptogen, what's really unique about Gynostemma is that it's essentially going to help promote the functioning of your ultradian cycles, which are the cycles that happen in a one to 24 hour period or cycle. So these are things like hormone secretion, uh, immune cell production, particularly the production of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline and many other different cycles such as your blood pressure regulation and different areas of your metabolism like secretions of digestive fluids and many other cycles that occur within a period of 24 hours basically. So what's so great about this is essentially going to help your body regulate every single one of these cycles in a more uh, ideal range. So that way we're not producing too much stress hormone, you're not over secreting uh, digestive fluids or under secreting, and this is essentially gonna help with every area of your body, like I said. So you could really see this herb being a tonic to every different meridian in the body, every different organ system. For example, as a tonic to the heart, it's gonna really help your heart pump the blood it's by taking stress off of the heart. It can help your heart and cardiovascular system pump blood more efficiently. It's particularly known to help regulate blood pressure and balance your cholesterol levels. So again, looking back at this ability to tonify the different areas of your alternating cycles, and this particularly is great for your heart. It is also a lung tonic. It's um, in clinical studies shown to decrease symptoms of bronchitis up to 95%. So particularly managing the physical fatigue or the coughing associated with bronchitis. And as an anti-inflammatory to your entire lung meridian, something that's really great for treating asthma or any sort of issue or impediment in your breathing and even a weak immunity, considering the fact that um, most of our immunity is created in our lungs through our breath. So this is a really great immune tonic herb as well, but not just because of its ability to tonify the lungs. Dinostemma has been shown in study to produce more natural killer cell than any other botanical herb or supplement on the planet. And this is what makes Gynostemma something that's becoming so popular in treating cancer naturally because this ability to produce natural killer cell which uh, induces the cell death of cancer cells, inhibits tumor cell growth, and essentially really makes your immune system uh, very resilient, um, so resilient in fact that it could kill off cancer cells. So this is a very potent immune tonic as well. But perhaps the most predominant function of gynosema is this ability to act as an adaptogen. Like I said earlier, this is an, an adaptogen does more than just regulate your stress response, but it helps regulate every sort of ultradating cycle in your body, your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels, your blood sugar levels, and essentially every sort of cycle that's going on in your body in a 24 hour period. So this is really great because what gynosema is going to do for you on a stress level is it's going to regulate your hormone production and manage the secretion of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline so that way you don't have too much uh, cortisol or adrenaline in your bloodstream at any time and also help regulate your blood sugar so essentially bringing down uh, the potential of oxidative damage in your body. Um, in layman's terms, Gynosema is really great because if you need energy, when you consume Gynosema, it's going to give you energy. But if you are fatigued and you actually need to rest and relax, consuming gynosema tea will help you rest and relax. So this is just showing you its sort of modulatory effects on all of our uh, cycles and our metabolism and showing that it's gonna actually help your body achieve balance rather than just exciting it, stimulating it, or inducing some sort of uh, sedated like state. It's gonna help your body achieve the state that it needs to be in depending on your unique environment, your unique biology, 
and essentially your unique body. So an example really of what makes kind of some of such a great adaptogen is this ability to help either energize us when we are feeling low or fatigued or to actually help us relax or feel calm if we're um, feeling anxious or overly stimulated. So this is a great example of what an adaptogen does on a very basic level is if we need energy, it will give us energy. If we need to relax, it'll help us relax. So this is the prime ability of any adaptogen herb, whether it's ginseng, uh, ashwagandha, astragalus, hoshuwu, they all have this ability to basically regulate our hormonal cycles so that way we feel balanced, in other words. But gynostemma is the most potent and powerful adaptogen considering it contains the most concentrated source of saponins or triterpenoid saponins, which basically give it its immunomodulatory adaptogenic quality. Qualities. Now, last but not least, um, a very important aspect of Ganostema is this very high amount of antioxidants. As with most adaptogen herbs, most tonic herbs that we mention here, it contains a, an abundance of antioxidants, which makes Ganostema such a great longevity tonic. And so as legend has it, and the oriental people who live to be 100 plus years old commonly and regularly consume adaptogen herbs like gynostemma, hence where it gets its name, the immortality herb. And this has a lot to do with the properties that I've already mentioned, but also its high amount of antioxidants. So its ability to scavenge the body for free radicals and basically neutralize those, protecting our cells and DNA from any sort of damage that would cause accelerated aging and disease. So these are the primary benefits of gynostemma. So to recap, it is an adaptogen herb that helps energize us when we need energy or helps us feel relaxed when we need to relax. In a more complex sense, it helps regulate all of our different cycles of our metabolism and to be in a more ideal range for optimal health. It also is an immunomodulatory herb, something that strengthens our immune system and makes it more intelligent, suppressing it if it's overactive and stimulating it if it's underactive. It's a very potent antioxidant that protects the body from DNA damage and oxidative stress. It's a tonic to essentially every organ system in the body. It's anti-inflammatory to the lungs, to the heart, to the liver, to the kidneys, and essentially every organ in the body is going to have some sort of protectant, tonifying quality. And lastly, not so much a health benefit, but a benefit of Ganesama is that it has an exceptional taste. So while all tonic herbs, in my opinion, have a, an edible quality, they're not overly bitter or off-putting or dirt tasting like some herbs can be, Ganesama is exceptionally sweet and makes a very delicious tea. So while you can supplement it in an extracted form, a tincture or an extracted powder, you can also just consume it as a tea a couple times a day. I personally use Ganosema as a tea before bed or sometimes in the morning. Preferably I use it before bed because I find it really helps my nervous system relax, get calm, uh, decrease any sort of stress hormone in my body and help prepare me for a really good night's sleep. So if you're interested in supplementing with Gynostema and reaping these benefits for yourself, then you can learn more by checking out our store in the link below.